praise the Lord. Um, my name is uh, Adenuga Moses Blessing, and um, I love you to call me just unique. Unique, I love unique. So today, I'm going to be sharing with us from the Bible, and I'm going to be sharing with us from the book of um, First Epistle of St. John, chapter 4, verse 4. If you have your Bible there, can you turn with me to First John chapter 4, verse 4? It says, You are of God, little children, and you have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you that, than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. He says, You are of God. Now, listen to me. When you see um, uh, um, a, a, a furniture or a chair, when we want to refer to that, we call it, it is of tree. Because it takes its source from a tree. It takes its being from a tree. So when the Bible says you are of God, that means you take your source from God. You were not yourself originally. You came from God. Your being is from God. So therefore, you because God is not a failure, you cannot be a failure. We do call God King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Uh, sometimes in my life I was wondering about that word, that who are those kings? And you will see that in the book of Revelation. Let me just open to the book of Revelation, chapter number 1. I think um, Revelation chapter 1, verse 8. Okay, let's see. No, verse 6, sorry, verse 6. It says, And has made us kings and priests unto God and his Father, to him be glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. He says, and God has made us kings. That means God has made you a king. You came from God. So whenever you say king of kings, you are those kings, not the president, not the governors. You are the one. And if you turn your Bible to Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4, it says, where the word of the king is, there is power. So when, where, where, where you speak, there is power. Your words is important. You are a king. The Bible says, whosoever, whatsoever is born of God, overcome the world. Because you are a king, you overcome. You have that seed of overcome, overcoming in you. You have that seed of God in you. The Bible says in the book of Second and Second Peter chapter 1 verse 4, it says that you may be partakers of divine nature. You have the nature of God. Zoe is inside of you. Hallelujah. So you are not the same. You are not, you, you, are, you are unique. You are special. You are different. Praise the Lord. I hope you've been blessed. Well, my name, as you heard earlier, is unique. And then my, uh, my website is blessingadenuga.blogspot.com as in www.blessingadenuga.blogspot.com And then my email address is moses.adenuga at gmail.com That is my email address. And if you want to reach me on phone, my phone is um, plus two three four. Eight seven zero triple six one seven zero double two. Praise the Lord. I think I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. God bless you.